Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great hump day. I hope you got your humping in, got your humping in, and it's your past the hump. Humpty hump, you know, that, that, that we're, we're past the hump. Tomorrow already, we've got football. Uh, who, wait a minute, I think the Raiders. Who the Ra Raiders? Ugh. At least it's not Denver playing. At least it's not Denver. But the Raiders and some, I can't remember who else plays, but it's not, it's, it's not going to be a good game. It's, uh, poor Amazon. Poor Amazon that literally got the NFL's toaster leavings. Anyway, interesting stuff that's going on, okay? There is the Odell Beckham Jr. saga that even though he's left the building, that does not die. Um, right now, we've heard Jerry Jones basically say, you know, we're still talking. We're still working on it. That we know that the Cowboys didn't offer him a contract. Uh, we believe neither did the Giants or the Bills. Um, but, of course, I am the jackass, okay? As my dad would say, jackass. Don't be a jackass. Um, I'm getting lit up on Twitter by somebody I've never seen before. Um, here's what was said about me, because of course I am just the village idiot. Um, and here we go. I want, I want to put this in context because to me, this is the dumbass comment of the day. The bills and giants found no issue with Odell Beckham jr's knee. Why are you spreading false information? Odell Beckham jr. Has been cleared to start preparing to start football related, uh, ramp up and is looking to be ready to play live games in early January. The Cowboys have known this. See, we're, we're getting people that are saying that the Cowboys put this out here that Odell Beckham Jr. has a knee issue. You mean, oh my God, Odell's got a hurt knee? I thought he was just taking the season off and just waiting to play for the playoff. You mean he had a knee injury? That was breaking news that the Cowboys put out there that Odell Beckham Jr. had a knee injury? Oh, my God. Listen. Listen. The way people are acting is like, okay, the only way, the only way that this is legitimate is if the Buffalo Bills – and the New York Giants training staff just got off the salad truck and that they don't know what a hurt knee looks like. If Odell, if the Cowboys saying that Odell Beckham Jr. has a knee issue, scares off all the other people to sign him, are you crazy? They looked at him too. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, if they didn't think there was something wrong to with them, then how come they didn't sign him? See, this is the the get over mentality. Yo, man, I got got a great car for you to buy over here, knowing that you got sawdust in the engine block to keep it running. That that five days from now it's gonna blow up. This being reported, if you are on the outside looking in for this guy to say, it's been, you know, he's ready to go. Is he? I didn't heard that he's been cleared to go for weeks now. I heard that he was supposed to be playing back, you know, like three weeks ago, the middle of November. Then they said early December. Then they said just last week, late December. Now it's early January. Sorry, the Cowboys putting out there maybe a little more information than what the public knows, but I guarantee you, I guarantee you that the Bills understand this and the Giants understand this, seeing this, and understanding that if he was ready to ramp it up, he would have done a workout. Hello? Hello? It's pretty much common knowledge. Now, you can say that the Cowboys have 
let the cat out of the bag when nobody else knows, knew before. Because here's the thing I will say about the Dallas Cowboys doctors. Okay? I don't know, Tommy, how old you are, but back in the 70s, there used to be an investment firm called EF Hutton. I don't know if EF Hutton still is in business or not. Okay? But they used to have a commercial that said, when E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. You know, because, well, my investor at E.F. Hutton, everybody would listen because they were basically saying they knew what they're talking about. If they say it, you can best believe it. Because during the combine last year, as everybody's going through and checking out, all these prospects, right? It was the Dallas Cowboys doctors that discovered that Damone Clark had a cracked vertebrae. 31 other teams got a chance to look at him. It could have been nobody discovered him. And let's say... He went on to play, and that cracked vertebrae exploded, basically. One of those big hits. It's already weakened on a big tackle. Psh, guy could have been paralyzed. Did it hurt him as far as his draft stock? Of course it did. Of course it did. But as he put it, everything happens for a reason. So... If the Cowboys doctors are looking at this and saying, and, and here's where I believe you're wrong. If the Cowboys were putting out false information about Odell Beckham Jr. and saying he's not going to be ready, he's not going to be ready until playoffs, which are actually kind of late January. Don't we play the Washington Commanders on but the ninth? If they're saying that he's not going to be ready and it was false information, then why doesn't Odell Beckham Jr. say the Cowboys are wrong? What he has said is to Von Miller, who is now lost for the season, that he believes he'll be ready in five weeks. He believes he'll be ready in five weeks. Five weeks is the middle of January and playoffs. And I'm going to say, as a football player, at least old school football player, you go out no matter what. You always think you can play. I tore my ACL in high school on Friday night. I was trying to practice on Monday. That's the mentality of a player. As a player, you see guys get knocked silly and they have to hide the helmet to protect them from themselves. Now, I don't know how the Odell Beckham Jr. situation goes. At this point... Odell has a ring. Odell has his numbers. Odell has his fame and fortune. This season is just like icing on the cake. Quite frankly, and, and the way he's going about this is, I'm just coming in to somebody who can get me a ring. I'm trying to go to the best opportunity for me to get a ring without having to put in all the other work to get there. Fact, because it was just about playing football. If you truly just want to play, you play anywhere. It's about me getting paid and getting the ring real easy. Otherwise, you say, you know what? I, I go to, you know, I'll go to, to Washington or I'll go to, to the Giants, you know, because you know, I, I just want to play football. I go back to the Rams. I got friends there and stuff. They, they still have my locker for me. Clearly, this is about... The easy path to get in the ring right now. 
when you probably be better suited, Odell Beckham Jr. would probably be better suited just saying, season's done. I'm going to rehab my knee. I'm going to be ready to go. Come training camp or the off-season workouts, OTAs, I'm going to get this thing right because the first surgery was messed up instead of trying to get this now. What's the urgency now? You've missed the whole season. So that's what I got for you guys. I'm getting lit up on Twitter. Now, now could, it, could it be that the Cowboys are kind of, you know, being like a dog and cocking their leg up and marking their territory and kind of putting it out there that, hey, you know, his knee is not ready and this, that, and the other, which is common knowledge. You could say that maybe, maybe, that the Cowboys do want to sign him and they're trying to kind of scare off any other potential people that might be interested. Disinformation. Maybe. But the reality is, is if Odell could be working out and practicing, he would be right now. All right, good people. That's all I have to say on that. You know, as always, Mark Holmes is the village idiot. And, um, I'll catch you later. Peace.